In 1997, the sci-fi thriller Gattaca was released and now it is streaming. It's the story of a man who was born into a world of genetic manipulation where that's the norm, but he was born without it. And because of that, he's discriminated against and he's unable to get the job he wants of going into space. So, our main character decides he's going to flaunt the system, get some help, and do whatever it takes to join the company Gattaca and see the stars. At its heart, Gattaca is a very cerebral film. I mean, yes, it's a thriller. Yes, there's a mystery going on, but we're looking at where culture is headed about genetics at that time. And the look of it is gorgeous. We have modern day technology for us, future technology even for us when it comes to biomanipulation, DNA sequencing, but the appearance is all retro. I mean, the style, the look of the buildings, the car, it's all very 1950s, 60s sci-fi look, and guess what? It still works. And you have to look no further than Ethan Hawke's character, Vincent, our main character, about how this film is a thriller. At any moment, his scam of taking on someone's identity and using their DNA could go wrong, and he's going to jail, and there's going to be serious repercussions with that. And the guy that's helping him out, the man whose identity he's stolen, actually is Jude Law. And I have to tell you, Jude Law's character gives this movie moments of levity, moments of humor it really needs from being just a little too serious and keeps it really good. Writer-director Andrew Nichol really has created a film that has passed the test of time. Gattaca still looks gorgeous. The ideas, the themes behind the film still resonate today with our obsession of biotechnology. And I honestly would put this film against any sci-fi thriller that's going on the big screen right now or is along the way. It's just that good.